Hi, as I said in my previous video, we recommend to use a special SMTP service such as a Spark Post for massive notifications and sending emails to customers. How to connect these services to Splinks? I will show you an example of Spark Post. So the Spark Post, uh, I got the free account here and now I can add my domain. So I'm adding sending domain and I will use this one. So if I have my domain ISP services that I will just create one some domain that will be used for SMTP sending. And now I need to go to my settings of my DNS and create the TXT and CNAME records. So these are my settings of my DNS. This is my domain name and then I can create a TXT. This is the first thing that is required. Copy, paste, just remove this one because it's already there. Set up TTL to one hour and copy this value and add this DNS record. So that was added there. And the next one is the C name. So I will just create the C name the same way. Put this email, same TTL, and this is the value in there adding dns record and it's there so now if my provider works quickly on my domain that it will be available almost immediately so i can try to do this try a txt and c name and verify the domain yeah we need to wait a bit and when this will be done i'll be able to continue with the settings. So let's try the verification again. Still nothing. Yeah, so when I click it again here, it shows me that the C name was updated. Really need to wait a bit. And then the second one will also be fine. So when we go to my domain list, it shows me that yeah, it's already ready. Yes, so everything is done now. And we can start working with that and configuring it to Splinks. Uh, so there are some API keys that we'll be using. So this is the API keys is required to enable API SMT SMTP injection. So let's create the API key. So that will be Splinks. And this is the allowed IPs that we can allow just to connect there. I will leave it empty for now. And that's my API key that I will remove it after this test. But this, this API key we can use inside Splinks when we will go to the configuration. So now the next step will be add this API key to our configuration of the email. So when we go to the administration main or the configuration main and there is an email, instead of setting up my Gmail account and everything, I will just use um, my configuration here of uh, the Spark post. So let's choose the sender email can be, for example, info at ISP service CZ. I will enable email sending. And then instead of this, I need to use my SMTP settings of the Spark post. And that will be the host, the port number is this one. Verify SSL certificate TLS. Yes, username is info. Or no, in this case, I need instead of username, I need to use this one, SMTP injection. And as a password, I need to set up my key that I have available here. So that was the key. Let's open that. And I think I had to copy that. So let's regenerate a new one. Just create a new one, blinks, create API key, here it is. And now I need to add my password. So that's all. And now I can save it and then the next step will be uh, sent the email through this 
Spark Post service. So okay, if I click now run test, I will show, show here the message. So it says that unconfigured sending domain, probably because I'm using a subdomain for my email, I have to also set up here instead of info ISP service, I need to set up my subdomain here. So look at this, if I will set up email ISP service and I save it. Now I can run test using my subdomain email and that will, so here is my messages that I was receiving originally from my Google account. And now, so this is my test email that is sent through this account for my domain name and it's a subdomain. If I want to use just the ISP service to that, I have to use instead of subdomain here, I just need to add my regular domain and configure it the same way in my DNS settings. But now when I'll be using and sending all my messages, it will not go directly to my SMTP server, but it will go just through this um, Spark Post service. If you have any questions, just uh, send us the email and we will help you to set it up. But I think this uh, configuration is quite straightforward. Uh, thank you for your time.